The waitress asked me what I would be drinking. Her eyes were sewn shut. Thick, black strings were sewn in and out of the lids. They blended in with her eyelashes. She sounded like she was on a three-second delay. I could hear her teeth when she talked. I could see all the stitches in her mouth, too. I told her I wanted my coffee black. Just black. She asked me if I was sure. I saw her pupils flitter back and forth. I repeated that I wanted it just black. She walked away. Her legs had awful scars up and down them, the way people used to draw nylon lines. The coffee came. I didn't drink it. I'm pretty sure that's what I was supposed to do. It's hard to remember. An old man was sitting at the counter. I could tell he was watching me. I was remembering what you told me your therapist said about how if you control your breathing, you can control your anxiety. Your therapist seems cool, Em. If I live through this, I'm gonna need his number. The old man stood up and walked over to me. His beard was yellow from nicotine. He put his hands on the table, and his thick, discolored nails tapped against the surface. He asked me what I wanted. I told him what I was supposed to say. I wanted to know the words that would wake the dead. He told me the address of a mailbox. I was to drop this letter in the mailbox. If I had followed the directions, I would wake up in my bed. This whole thing would feel like a dream. But a week later, a letter would arrive in the mail. I would open the letter and read it in front of a picture of the one I wanted to return from the dead. And then they would. But if I hadn't followed the instructions correctly, my one true love would get this letter I'm writing in the mail the next day. And as for what would happen to me? The old man smiled. His teeth fell out of his mouth, yellow and brown stained, clattering against the battered black and white tile floor. You'll find out, Stuart. You'll find out. I'm writing this in the back of a cab. There's no meter. I gave the address of the mailbox. The city lights are bouncing against the windows. I'm... I'm trying not to look at the driver's eyes in the mirror. I'm getting ready for the end.